This video is sponsored by Competitive Cycles. Enjoy you, Savage. I will. Very excited about this shakedown ride with the new Fox AX Gravel Shock. This thing was a bit of a tricker to get set up. Today, we're gonna see this is really like oxygen. Some brief technical facts that I will probably uh, think it's air. I don't know anything about shocks. The suspension is made out of wizard tears and bad intentions. I thought, what would be the best way to test this thing out? And I realized. But of course, the fire lanes in Forest Park. Multiple digits of degrees going up and down all along the 30 miles of Forest Park. Treacherous, horrendous, bone jarringly steep. The only thing I could think of that would make this that much better was to have Ron Lewis on his mountain bike. So here we go. Hey Ron. Yeah. Hey, tell me about your bike. It's a oh, fuck. The Chad Smelter Custom Adventure Hardtail. <laughs> it's made out of some steel shit. Called a Super Nut. It's got a Fox Float 34. What size tires you running? Big ones. And it looks like you got a dropper on there. Yeah, a really crappy one. <laughs> ah! You ever see the Who live at Leeds? See, I'm bringing my hands back to life because it's snowing in March. It's a cold, cruel world. <laughs> so Dustin, tell me about your bike. This is a carbon ramble rocket that I've outfitted with a dropper post and new Fox AX gravel shock. Ja, 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 ja. This bike is making the case for that blurry line between mountain bike, gravel bike, and snow ride. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I can't see shit. Check one for the mountain bike on that section. Hey, you want some? Ah! Okay, so far pros and cons with the fork. First one out of the box, it's heavy as sin. This is three pounds. This is one ounce away from three pounds. Don't let the numbers fool you. Pro, it's a shock. Con, you've got to tune the shock. Pro, it's black. It's a little bro bra. It has three degrees of separation. I don't know how to use all those degrees. Pro and con, it's a tapered one and an eighth to one and a half fork. If you've got that bike, you're stoked. If you don't, you're bummed. I also got to note that the fork changes the angle of the bike. It's not the biggest difference. I noticed it mostly on the pavement. And you say it changes the angle. Is it more slack or steeper? I don't totally know what that means, but <laughs> I'll take a stab at it. It feels a little more boaty. Cadillac. Saucy bossy. That means slack. Oh gosh. Although I would check your bicycle's degrees before fully committing because I don't know why, just what the hell am I talking about? Oh, 
Yeah! Woo! Coronavirus elbow bump. And social distancing. Yeah. Uh, I would say it looks like we did that about right. Right or wrong, there's a fine line somewhere out near the fringes of both of those. Oh my. I think I found the perfect match for the bomb track. If that wasn't a proper test, I don't know what is. I think I'm proud of myself for carving out an even smaller niche of type of bicycle that I didn't quite have before. When all you know is drop bars, but the terrain you ride keeps getting crazier and crazier, suspension gravel bike. Drop bar ramble gramble. Try considering squishy front. The best way to bramble bamble into ramble jamble. I gotta admit though, the snow, I just, I didn't, I didn't even think it was gonna rain today. All in all, first impressions, I dig this tool. It makes the bike just a whole different beast. And having the three-way lockout is super fun because you get to interact with all the terrain in all these different ways. Uh, I'm very stoked on this upgrade. Shock with the dropper post? Who knew? It's not always about the size of the ride. It's just the motion in the ocean and the ride by the numbers. Damn, hands are freezing. Come on, fingers, you can. Two hours, two minutes, 20 miles, and 2,071 feet of elevation. Thanks for tuning in. I hope there was something that you liked. Go ahead and subscribe if you found something that tickled that fancy. And watch this video, where I suffer through yet another crappy day of rain. Hmm. Oh, and shout out to Competitive Cyclists for sponsoring this video. We're sharing the love with a little discount code right down there just for you. Because sharing is caring. Okay, who wants to clean this bike? Anybody? You in the back?